Previously on Lost Judgment. <laughs> the girl, they look over, the squirrel's got a fucking gun. You must kill the one staying next to you. I turn over, the little girl's got a gun pointed at me. What are you doing, Fatama-chan? I'm sorry I had to come to this. I'm doing it for the squirrels. And now back to Lost. <laughs> Mr. Katie, what are you doing here? <laughs> and have you been drinking? You seem like you're slurring your words. <laughs> Catnip. Dude, you know that shit will mess you up. <laughs> I'm just trying to look out for you, man, all right? You're not the young spry Mr. Kitty you used to be. A life-changing experience? I truly doubt that. <sighs> Fine. I wouldn't want to be a square. Fine. I'll try some of this catnip shit. Ugh. Very kind of grassy. <laughs> Nothing's happening, Mr. Kitty. Clearly, this is only a cat, though. Oh, oh my, my god, god, I can see the universe! Hello! Sneak up Back with some more Lost Judgment. We last left off. We finished off our epic squirrel journey. And it turns out that girl was a ghost. <laughs> the girl was fucking dead. Somehow. And I also gave her an acorn. Somehow. And Amasawa doesn't believe in aliens or freaking ghosts. Well, clearly this game is showing us otherwise, right? We literally saw a UFO in the sky. And now we've seen an actual live dead ghost. <laughs> but I will say it was it was actually a really sweet ending. It was it was a surprisingly uh, emotional uh, ending to uh, what, what was seemingly just a goofy ass weird ass collectible. And I still say it was a pretty great collectible. But along the same lines, uh, last episode, uh, JJR said, uh, Yagami, where did that big squirrel go? Calls Amasawa. Amasawa, hello Yagami, did something happen? I saw a giant squirrel graffiti art and now it's gone. Squirrel graffiti art? Yeah. Remember, we found one the other day, and I found hidden treasure after mimicking it. We, Yagami? Yeah. We found one together, along with Fatabachan. Yagami, who's Fatabachan? <laughs> Looks at acorns. Yagami, is something wrong? I think I might be going nuts. <laughs> <Da -da -burr. laughs> the end. Womp womp. I was sort of pissed that this made me laugh a bit. <laughs> Usually, puns like this make me smack whoever the fuck said it but this one did make me chuckle. Or maybe I'm just getting loopy from lack of sleep. I feel like I need to prove to Amasawa that ghosts are real now and that aliens are real. Just so I can see the look on her stupid fucking face when she sees it. But JJR, thank you so much for your uh, hilariously accurate comment. And there's that reason you are comment of the day. By the way, uh, you guys did inform me that apparently the correct answer to the skateboarding one, I think it is probably a goof. Apparently the correct answer is actually, I, I do skate all over people when I'm in a hurry. However, the correct version when you're drunk, so when the words are like jumbled or actually like pushed together, right, is I do skate all over town when I'm in a hurry. I think it was a mistranslation or just a goof up in the uh, the programming there. But yeah, clearly not the right one. I, I was thinking, I was like, I swear to God, it cannot possibly be any of these other ones, right? Like when I'm exceedingly lazy or when I fucking damn well please or like this shit makes me sound crazy. She's like, I know, right? <laughs> Explaining her reaction to, to me saying some like, I'm literally running people over. I know, right? Fuck people. Also, uh, and I sort of, it kind of occurred to me uh, at the end of the last episode. Yeah, Emily is actually one of the girlfriends. That's why she looks so much better than a lot of the other characters and uh is actually the one girlfriend that is included in the base game and not the dlc so i, I guess in some ways she could be seen as the uh the canon girlfriend we'll say her her first impression is not great she never looks kind of snooty but i imagine i hope that she'll get better once we actually get to know her <laughs> like so you're what, what are you doing just so you're over there just like staring at me like yagami what do you mean what am i doing what are you doing i'm over here having my intense detective thoughts okay i'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on in this case okay don't look at me like that don't you fucking give me that. Wow. He is really giving me the look, isn't he? He's going, uh, he's still looking. Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, you don't see, you don't see me see your, okay, stop, he stopped looking. He stopped looking. He stopped looking. Uh, hi, doggy. Hello, doggy. All right. Well, I've been jamming to my, uh, my uh, latest music, which is, what was this one called? Inharmonic. Hold on. My own style. What's this one? I don't think I've heard this one yet. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, damn, this is like a chase scene or something. Oh, hell yeah. That's a good stuff. 
But all right, so we have now started on the girl's bite. And that leaves how many more clubs that I've yet to unlock? Two. I'm guessing I must unlock those probably from increasing my guts, maybe? Because I haven't gotten any calls from uh, Amasawa yet. And the only ones I can increase my guts with are the biker gang, which I kind of don't want to fuck with and, until I've uh, upgraded my bike some, which actually I, I could probably do now that now that I've actually got some money um, in the boxing gym. I can, you know, still go back and continue with the girls bar, but I think I'm going to wait on that for right now, just so as not to overdo it all at once. Actually, real quick, let's just go ahead and talk to Amasawa and make, make absolutely certain that there's nothing else I can do. What you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. Can you give me those other two clubs? Maybe wants to get popular enough, Yagami-san. Jeez, really? Really, Amasawa? You're going to say that to me? You're in here with your freaking red string and whiteboard like you're a fucking psycho. I get out, Yagami-san, okay? I don't just live here. The only time I ever see you outside is when you just happen to sneak up on me. That's just a coincidence. I feel like I might need to consider a restraining order against you. Okay, so I think I'm gonna need to probably uh, increase my guts a bit more. So in that case, let's go do uh, the uh, the boxing mini game. It's been a while, and uh, let me unlock some more uh, skills for my uh, boxing style as well. I mean, actually, now I think about it, I think that that one also does require quite a bit of money as well. All right, let's head back to the gym. Nah. Hey, coach, got a quick question for you. What is it? You ever hear of the Genbukai? You dick! <laughs> Where'd you pick that up? I heard a rumor that Ashikiri used to compete in it, and that you tore him a new one over it. Mm. What if I did? Nah. Why is he so obsessed with getting stronger? One time I spotted him outside the gym, and he seemed awfully spooked by something. No. Ah. What is it? Who is it that's after Oshikiri? Yogami. Yogami, you fuck! <laughs> I love this dude, man. I love how crass he is. I told you to stop snooping around. How about I jam you in a fucking barrel and toss you in the river? Guess I should back off for now. But my focus went up, even though I can't go up any further. No, put my guts up, you dick. I'm not a dick, you're a dick. What are you here for tonight? You here to get buff? Any new moves I can actually... Can't learn it yet. I don't think so. I think I've got pretty much everything I can currently get. All right, time to spar then. We got a brand new row here. Hey, there's my DLC uh, DLC one. So there's Sugihara. Had nothing to do with boxing until now. Detective Yokohama 99. Loves watching ringside. Oh, he's a peekaboo one, which is what uh, Onodake was. And he's an outboxer, which is like, I think he tries to stay away from you, right? I don't know if these are going to count towards anything or not, but let's just give it a try. Yeah, just for funsies, right? Yeah. All right, Sugi, I'm going to beat your face in. You were staring at me earlier and it's freaking me out. <laughs> like I just called them and they just immediately ran over here. All right, so I remember how to do this. Oh, shit. I don't think I remember the controls very well. It's been, it's been a while. Straight hook, quick step jab, X boost guard. I'm not going to do much damage to you. Actually, the fact that their DLC might be that they require a higher, uh, a higher level, level to deal with. Dude, you, you sure didn't take a punch to the face, Sugiura. Holy shit. Ah, fuck. Okay, I feel like I am uh, not doing much damage to him. So I think I'm going to save that for later. I think this is more of an extra thing. Probably should wait till my le my uh, power and stuff has been leveled up a bit more. All right, I guess let's start from the top here. The Swarmer. Shingo Ninomiya. Oh, yeah. Now I'm doing regular damage. In the face. In the face. Damn. Holy shit. I'm fucking this guy up. Uh, uh, uh. I think I maybe took like a single hit from him. If I were you, bro, I would not get up. Oh, yes, you did. I kind of thought based on my performance of like how well I did, like how badly did I beat him, he wouldn't get up. But I think it's more just that the earlier ones, they just go down after a single round. Boom. Okay, seriously, bro, stay down. Come on. There we go. 
Yugami! There we go. Progress of the school stories. Hold the school diary in detail. Hmm, I wonder if that maybe knocked me up for anything. Hold on. See if Amasa gives me a call or anything. Whoa. Eh, nothing yet. Koji Oyama. Bow one, fight! Okay, and he's done after a single round. Holy shit, give me a big boost of power. Oh, hey. Guess because I love up my power, got a new one. Uh, triple jab. A quick triple jab that leaves no openings for a counter can put a stop to an enemy's repeated attacks. Press and hold square. Sounds good. Okay, Jiro Koda. The peekaboo. Peekaboo style. All right, let's give the move a try. There's a big windup to it. Holy shit. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of windup on that move. Oh, God. Holy shit. Damn, stop blocking. I had a feeling he was going to get back up again. Uh, uh. Jesus Christ. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God. God. Get fucked, dude. Lie back down. From turn for whence they came. Oh, uh, big guts. I'm guessing gu guts is like my stamina, probably. I see. Each one of these guys is actually like uh increasing a certain uh aspect of my uh my stats more than the other okay one last dude kai nito outboxer so this guy's just gonna be moving away from me i think or at least i think he's not doing a very good job though he is uh, 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 uh. boom yeah he's back up Come on, bitch. Come on. One piece of this. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Yosh. And he's dead. And give me a big boost of my stamina. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh. More voice acting. Zeven to Tanush Sony Spasser and Dane Antawa Oreva Moto Jimuse no Sakuma Chizuru. Ima Australia or Kotuni Katsdoste. Australian Australia. Ah, Savisani Kotunik Sestara Kenya Kuni Kenko Tao Moshiro is in Jinga Rutekite. Minik Tanda Ming name Ransa Chizuru.東洋太平洋クルーザー級12。向こうじゃ随分と活躍してるそうじゃねえか。東洋太平洋のランカーなのか。すごいな。ランカーって言ってもベルトには窓まだ届かない。俺の身長だとクルーザー級は減量が大変
Kyoki mo kinte ki. Is that wrong? Nandemari no kenka deda. For some chunky ass boys. Nameter to moke do me. Sakuma. Yagami ya mata. Oskiri to yari out smori la shize. Mata? Kenya gunto? Boko boko ni yara tate ki tagedo? Sore de mo yari te rashi. I'm leveling up, all right? Slowly but surely. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, this guy just happened to show up here at the perfect moment. All right, this is Shizuru. Uh, oh, hey, I got a, another new one. X cross counter, a special attack that guarantees a knockdown. The following conditions must be met to use it. Your own health is low. Your X gauge is full. Press triangle just as the enemy attacks and when the conditions are met. Ooh, wow, really? An automatic knockdown. That sounds uh very fucking good. Low health and... And I have to do just the enemy attacks. I'm gonna sit there and smash the shit off triangle. All right. The Lancer. All right. Let's do this, man. Lancer! Fiendish Knight. All right. Here we go. I don't know, man, this guy doesn't look that much bigger than me. I guess it li he's a little bit taller. Come on, come on. Ugh. Ooh, I don't think so. Ooh, uh. Going in hard. Too fast, motherfucker. Uh, uh, uh. Wide open. Uh. Yush. <laughs> like they fucking ragdoll when they fall down. Now get up. Come on, you're not done yet. That'd be so disappointing. He's down for a while, though. All right. Round two. Let's go. Now. This is to go even further beyond. Oh, God. Right in the chin. Quit blocking, man. Yosh. All right. How about that one? Mm. Nope. Didn't think so. Oh, big fat boost. Kimi, <sighs> I love these their voice acting, man. So so, so cool. <laughs> You're coming and beat him with a sword again. <laughs> Get him, Toto Rocky. <laughs> Pop it off. He's so soon, Dare. Just <laughs> Saku Sakuma about Oshikiri later. I didn't actually come out and beat him with a sword like he usually does. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, I heard you earlier. You're trying to score a rematch with Kenya Kun. Uh, That's right. So I see. If it's you we're talking about, maybe Kenya Kun will finally get get to square up with a worthy opponent. Uh, maybe. Is Ashikira really that strong? Uh, um, he's wicked strong. Honestly, he kind of scares me. Really? You too? I've heard similar before. Uh, hey, Yagami-san, why don't we continue this conversation somewhere else? Uh, yeah, that sounds great. I was actually hoping to ask you more about Shikiri. There's a bar in the entertainment district called Rodriguez. Let's meet there. See you later. Okay, wait, before I go, and new skills, yep. Submarine straight. Slink right close to an enemy following their attack and smash them with a powerful strike. A vein attack with a backward X, then triangle. Okay. Seems to be the only one. Guys, okay, should give me some more boxing skills, I think. Uh, the triple jab. 
Press and hold square. The submarine straight. So you can see us with R1 backward, X, then triangle. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, there's the Shizuru Lance right there. Is he going to teach it to me? And the Todoroki Rush. A special reversal attack that can turn the tables when you're getting beat. So, similar conditions during X boost and at low health. Triangle just the enemy attacks them when the conditions are met. Probably just straight murders them. Okay, so we're headed up over here. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to! Oh, God! Oh, God! Let me in! Let me in! Give me all your booze. I've already had all your booze. Give me more. Some divine water on the ground. Hey, you wait for me? Uh, nope, not in the least. I've been back to Japan in a while. I was just enjoying the solitude. Is that so? I also ask him whatever I can. Is this a date? Uh, Kenya Shikiri. Nah. What brought Shikiri to Todoroki's gym? Coach recruited him. Saw Kenya Kun's fighting off some thugs in an alley. He's got a real eye for talent. When he saw that kid, he knew right away he was looking at a top tier boxer. I see. Then what happened? Kenya Kun was super eager to train, so Coach started working with him one on one right after he joined. I'm telling you, I haven't seen a fast, faster learner. He picked up advanced techniques in no time flat. Huh. But that day he got in the ring with Mikimoto Kun, and that's when everything changed. Uh, when the Triple Crown champ top boxer in Japan got destroyed by a high school nobody. Uh. Yep. Even the scariest pro would get the willies after witnessing that match. Todoroki basically said the same thing. In fact, he used the word monster. Uh. Yeah, it's accurate. He just loses total control in the ring. It's like he turns into a combat machine. Coach says someone probably trained him to be that way. It means someone intentionally got Ashikiri to the point he's at now. Uh, I mean, those fucking scars he's got. Yeah, no idea who, though. Anyways, I think Coach's main goal now is to save Kenya Kun through the joy of boxing. Mm. Todoroki's awfully severe with his boxers. Has he always been like that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. He's always been tearing our heads off. Never had a problem getting physical with us, either. How many times I've been smacked with that wooden sword of his? He's especially bad when we lose a match. Calling us names, screaming at us to quit. Yeah, I definitely know what you mean. I know it's probably just tough love, but a lot of folks end up getting discouraged because of it, too. You know what I mean? Case in point, that's exactly what happened to me. Uh, Damn, even you? Uh, this is back when I tried for the National C Cruiserweight title. I did awful. Full on KO. Yare, yare. Boy, did he ever chew me out for that. Get out already, you fucking coward. He even threw a gym resignation form in my face. Uh, That's messed up. <laughs> he does it pretty often, though, you know? Especially when someone he had high hopes for loses. He must have been pretty damn invested in you, then. Uh, I suppose. I was invested in him, too, back then, but that was when it felt like he crossed the line. That's why I ended up moving overseas. Definitely had to find a new gym after that. This is about six months ago. I had no idea. No. Mikimoto. Well, can you tell me about Mikimoto? Uh. He has so much promise. Another true genius in the ring. He pick up new moves right away while the rest of us were busting our asses to barely come close to his form. He hated training. When we saw as a hassle. Even still, he was a triple crown champ. Incredible. Naruhodo. Sounds like he used to be the star of the gym. Mm-hmm. Ghost thought Mikimoto kun might have been another OPBF champ one day. In fact, even thought Mikimoto kun could go to the worlds. Something even he couldn't do. Naga. But then he went toe to toe with a monster. Kanashi. Yep. Real shame it all played out how it did. Tell you the truth, Mikimoto kun and I used to be pretty close. I did my best to be a good senpai for him. We'd spar all the time, even go out on road work together every day. <sighs> That's why I couldn't believe he'd just drop out of the gym and go back to the streets. It's such a scummy job, loan collecting. Ah, uh, I like how the, all these characters are like empathetic and actually have, you know, character. All these like, even these random boxer dudes I'm fighting. At least the final boss ones of each, uh, of each of these, uh, sections we're going through. Well, thanks, Sakuma. I've got a much better understanding of the situation now. Huh. Hey, Yagami-san. 
You're digging around for that payback boxer, aren't you? Well, I... We're cool. Do what you want. It's only good news for the gym if it keeps people from side-eyeing us. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. All right. I appreciate that. You said to sail anytime soon? I'm going to be here for a good while. Too much business to take care of still. One of the reasons I came back to Japan was how worried I've been from Mikimoto-kun and Kenya-kun. I figured a good senpai would make sure these young bucks turn out all right. Not sure exactly sure what I can do, though. なるほど. Had no idea. Well, since I'll be around, I can give you a hand or two whenever you need a sparring partner. Excellent. See you in the ring. Actually, now I have noticed, I, I think about it, I can actually re-challenge Onodake and him as well. I, I wonder if they give me as much experience as they did the first time I beat him. I'm going to probably not, but otherwise it would seem like it'd be too easy to just grind that out and get super buff. Though, granted, I'm not even really sure how much grinding for this uh, this side game is really necessary. Oh, okay, guys, the new Arish. I am not fucking with you, dude. All right. Uh, looks like we just got two new guys. Senpai, Senpai Garcia. Outboxer. Burr, 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 burr. Ooh, this is a beefy looking dude. Damn, super beefy. Oh yeah, holy shit. Now this guy's trying to stay away from me. Forza, you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere. Uh, Yosh, got fucking wrecked. Oh, there it is. There was the move right there. I got one to slow mo, jump back, booyah! That was sick. Oh damn, we got back up. Seriously? All right, let's end it. Boom. K. Oh, holy shit! There he goes. Definitely dead. Oh, big boost to that fucking stamina. Hmm. Hmm. Is that Mickey Moto? Fuck. Oh, I've got nothing. Mikimoto-kun. Oh, I didn't know, know you were going to be here, Mikimoto kun. We're gonna start training at the gym again. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. I'm just here for a little collection from Anadake senpai. Sounds to me like Coach wants you to come back. Don't you have anything you want to say to him? <sighs> I don't give a shit about any of that now. No. Hey, Mikimoto kun. Next time you swing by, how about we spar a bit, huh? Just like old times. I'm done here. Well, Yagami-san. I'm gonna stick around until I can get through to Mikimoto-kun. I just... I can't leave him like this. Alright then. Aw, sad music! We're bonding! They're beating the shit out of each other! Oh, actually, I don't need to go through two fights to get to this next one. Uh, speedster. Increases your attack speed during X boost. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, fuck yes. That's what I want to see. Okay, uh, Kakeru Sanyama. Boxer fighter? Is that a new one? It is. That's a new style. I don't think I should be worried. So just taking these punches in the face. Oh, holy shit. Whoa. They just kind of stun me there. What overhead swing it is. Knocks my guard down. T pose. Okay, back up. Oh shit. Not this time, motherfucker. Nope, nope. Oh god damn, it really stuns me though. Okay, let's see that increased speed, baby. Holy shit! Holy shit, I'm cracked out now! Uh, uh. Uh, uh. 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 Nah, you lie your ass down. Woo! Oh, I got a big boost from that one. And level up to my guts. Yogami. Hey, Yogami! Think box is any fun? Mm. Fun? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> huh. Let's see. Well, that's good. Oh, I can't shit or anything. Mm -hmm. What's up? Something wrong? Yeah. 
Nah, it's... I just wish Kenya could enjoy boxing as much as you do. It's like a shit. You both suck. Does he not actually enjoy it? I wouldn't say so. Or anything, he's... doing it to survive. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Yeah, I already said too much. Forget it. Okay, but but honestly, if I ever get it. By the way, where is Oshikiri? That's part-time job. You know the small burger food truck? There's Sirefield on West Carrot Highway. I guess that's where he works. Eh? Oshikiri at Small Burger? Got hard to picture that. Does he do punch the patties? Shit over there. Before I do that, let me grab whatever the uh, skills that I unlocked from killing that guy. If I did. What you didn't? I guess not every one of these actually gives me a, a new skill. Increase attack speed during X boost. That just it's fucking really good. So Small Burger up here. I didn't realize there was a food truck over there. A Small Burger food truck. Oh, for God's sakes, guys! Seriously, look, look, dude, look. Yeah. Oh my God! Ah, oh, here's a golden plate worth a hundred thousand yen. Really, dude? He dropped a fucking keychain, man. I don't think that's worth a hundred thousand dollars. It's my lucky keychain. Of course it is. People in the city are fucking crazy, dude. You know what? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Just in case this goes badly, I want to try my new moves on something. And that something is right there. Hey, you fat fuck! Remember me? That's right. I'm the guy you killed before. Maybe lose like. An hour's worth of progress. Well, that ends now. Oh, God. Okay, one hit and lost like a fifth of my health. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh, oh, there we go. So I got to do the, got to do the juggles. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can do this forever. I can actually do this forever. Oh my god. Is that all you got, motherfucker? Yeah. Yes. I think I found your fucking. Uh oh. Wait. Wait. Okay. That just. Oh my god. You're so stupid. You and your fucking command grabs. Ah! Ah, uh, uh, vengeance has never tasted so sweet. Still though, ow. Still ow. Damn, boxer style definitely does some quick work of those guys. <laughs> Where's Ashikiri? Oh my God, he looks so miserable. Oh, there he is. Okay, here comes the goofy music. Thank you. Hey, Oshikiri, where's the smile of yours, huh? My bad. Get together, man. 100 yen of each burger's cost us for the smile tax, you know. Smile tax? Yep, and that means we rip off our customers every time we don't smile. Anyway, I'm going on break now. Nice, time for my own lunch break. Hey man, how you doing? Can I get a number five? One smile burger, please. Oh, it, it's you. What's good? Yeah, I didn't know you worked here. Uh, Don't really have a choice. Gotta pay my gym dues somehow. Your parents aren't paying for that. Yeah. My mom, she pays for all my school stuff. Boxing's just something I wanted to do on my own, so. Mm. I see, it's very grown up of you. Here you are. One smile, Burger. Give me a smile, Oshikiri. Ooh. Thanks. No. Wait. Hmm? Hmm? Here. A hundred yen? Oh. Did I ever get my change? It's a smile tax. Huh? Apparently, a smile burger's got a hundred yen smile tax in the price. Uh. I'm not very smiley. So here's the money back. <laughs> uh. Um, I'm pretty sure that's made up. <laughs> But my senpai just told me. <laughs> he just messed with you, man. For real? <laughs> You're surprisingly earnest, Oshikiri. Maybe a slight, slight bit of uh, of a dunce, but earnest. I'm a sala. Looks like the payback boxer strikes again. He had a deal some punk who's supposed to hit a woman in public. Beat the fuck out of it. This just happened a few minutes ago. What? 
Maybe it was this guy's boss. Or employee or, or, or co-worker or whatever. But Shakira was still busy at work when the pay box was struck. I saw myself. There isn't a tighter alibi. Yeah, I should get back to it. I must tell saw an updater. Well, that's good. Oh, I got where to go. You don't see my see. Oh, I did get a uh, just takeout. I see. What teriyaki burger? I already got all the teriyaki burgers I could possibly want. And I'll take one one of these to go then. And this and this. Arigato. Arigato. I don't think I've ever had a teriyaki burger before. Are those good? Yeah, I like teriyaki burgers. Ow. Yellow. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. How's it going, Todoroki? Mm. What? What? Look into my eyes, Army saw I think I love you. What? What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking some sparring. I'm sparring? With who? This guy. <laughs> this guy, is what I just said. There's what long enough. He's got a semi files coming up for East Japan's rookie of the year. Sounds tough. So you're always sparring with him so close to his match? Well, you're just gonna be able to get the guy with a similar style as yours. You'll make good practice for him. Come on, nobody's got a similar style to me, coach. Yes, I do, you vain asshole. Thanks for helping me out, Yagami son. Uh, sure. Yeah, it. Work it up. Remember all the bodies you dropped. Give us everything you got. You better fucking kill this guy over here. Kill Yagami, sir. What about me? Shut up. You just sit there and die. What the piece of shit you are. Okay, let's do it. Walk it, uh. Show me your moves. Well, it seems like it might be a quick one. The Brawling Zombie. <laughs> Take this, and this, and this, and some of this. Oh, I see. Uses up all my stamina when I use that charge move. Or most of it. Damn. Throw a punch, dude. He's doing a lot of blocking, but not much punching. There we go. Okay, he's, he's, come on, he's getting back up. We'll see if he gets up after this. Let's go. Come on, block, bro, block. What you doing, huh? What you doing? Stop hitting yourself. I oh, ran out of time. Yo, I mean, just fucking die already. Go great. Looks like you're really not to handle that swarmer type. Keep it up and the uh, match is yours. All right. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't realize the we're so close to the end of the round. I definitely would not have used my heat there otherwise. Oh, whatever. Okay, so this guy's a swarmer type, huh? Whatever that means. Boosh. And he's done. Winner. Dang it. I think I already beaten up guys. So many guys with this guy's exact face. How, how the fuck did you lose? Damn, sorry. You have me so, so strong. You spoiler shit thing. I don't want to hear excuses. Now you die by my hand. Oh, here we go. Here comes the sword. Think you're going to make rookie of the year like that? Uh, Classic time rookie coaching right there. You even get how much time I spent training you just for you to eat and start kissing this guy's ass? You eat too much ass. Drop dead. Hold on, hold on. Hey, coach. He's had enough. In fact, the longer you chew him out, the less ready he'll be for semifinals. What'd you fucking th say? I can't hear training advice for quitters. Work it up. Wrong work time. Hit the showers first so you wake the fuck up. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> For a guy you fucking lose again, I'll beat the shit out of you. I'll kill you myself. There is the best. Best coach and best not dad. Yo, what the fuck do you want? You sack of shit. Oh. Oh, hey, we are still building up to somebody else. I was like, I thought that guy seemed kind of minor over overall. So Takashi Sanabe. Hold on, I got any new moves yet? Showtime. Taunt an opponent to... Oh, that's right. I forgot about the taunting. To charge the X gauge. Force the opponent into a corner and use this taunt to max out the X gauge. Warning, may enrage some enemies. So once they're in the corner, it'll actually... He'll actually max it out. Cool. 
Not too many more moves left at this point. All right. Takashi Sanabe. Let's give him a give him a whirl. Another beefy dude. So we can push this guy to the corner. Get in the corner. Get in the goddamn corner. There we go. Oh wow. It is it's an instant charge. Oh my god, it's fucking crazy. Uh, 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 oh my god. Wow. Destroyed him. Actually destroyed him. You sure you want to get back up, man? After that fucking ass beating I just gave you? Get back in that corner. Get back in that fucking corner. Come on. Ow. Get in the corner. Get in the goddamn corner. Oh, can I only do it once? Shit, I think that is the case. I think it was the case of the other one, too. Is regular taunting only work that way, too? So if I, like, hold on. I guess so. There's the one where, is it R1 in? Where's the one where I do the, like, the rodeo thing? Where, hold on. Check abilities. Oh, there it is. The sharp performance where you fuck the enemy. Especially effective when they're out of stamina. Yeah, this one. Yes, yeah, so you can only do these moves, like, seemingly one time for the boost. Boom. I guess it would probably be too busted otherwise. And he's dead. All right, level up the health and the stamina. Okay, toss all enemies. Works better than a normal taunt. Does not increase with the number of enemies, so you'll have to consider the best time to use it. Oh, I see. So better in one-on-ones, basically. Wait, what? Ready to face a powerful opponent. Am I not ready for him yet? Oh, I gotta go outside. Hmm? Oh my god. Huh? Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Sal, what are you doing? Nah. Hey. Uh, oh, there you are, Yagmi san. I was hoping to find you. And how you discovered me in my amazing disguise. For God's sakes. I've taken enough info that I want to update you right away. Mm -hmm. On what exactly? On well, the underground fight. The Genbukai. Oh, so this guy's paid off. Eh. Yes, I gained a few facts in the end. So when I went out with Sama, slew up. Yagami san, please take a look at this photo. Oh fuck, it's that dude. Oh, oh god. Oh god, war flashbacks are coming back. It's the venue for the Genbukai. I'm not there. What? You found the spot? Eh. Yes, according to social media posts and such. Also managed to listen in on some relevant conversation, like one between these two apparent sponsors. I'm not there. I don't know about the guy on the right, but definitely know the guy on the left. Huh? This guy. I know him. Oh, God. He was... I think he was one of the worst ones to fight. Seriously. He was... He did so much fucking damage to you. That's Honda. He used to run part of the Kain gang. Remember, he was the guy I'm most into fighting. Uh, what? The next Kain gang leader? Do you then... Do that means... Zumari. There's a possibility that the Neo Kain gang was somehow involved with the, the Genbukai. Uh, probably. In which case, the professor's probably involved too. Mm. Everything's starting to connect. Well, Shikiri Kun did well in the Genbukai. It's quite likely that he caught the professor's eye. Or maybe it's even what led him to becoming the payback boxer. Yeah. Well, let's be fair. That's all just speculation on Masawa. Eh. Yes, good point. Yagami -san. Now, I have one last piece of intel on the Genbukai. I have heard that it's the subject of quite a bit of illegal gambling. Gambling? How do people place their bets? Do you know? Eh. Yes, there's a website dedicated to the event that takes bets. However, the event sponsors claim that they have nothing to do with it. In fact, they were complaining that someone else was profiting off their efforts. Naruhodo. I see. That could just be a smart countermeasure against getting busted. They really thought this through. Also, Yagami-san, a Shakira kid apparently made some quite, quite a lot of money with his efforts in the fight. Few people bet on him at first as an unknown entrant, but he's had enough victories since then to become the champion. And I'm sure you can imagine the caliber of martial arts experts and notorious criminals he had to fight. I see. It makes sense that almost nobody would bet on a high schooler, but then he actually won? That's unbelievable. Yagami -san. There's more, Yagami san. The very key to the payback boxer, the common thread tying together all his victims. The missing link. The common thread, huh? You know, I heard a rumor about a revenge for hire website. Could that be his doing? Oh, that turned out to be a big hoax. Almost every request posted at that site went unfulfilled. Really? 
Then what's linking all the payback boxers' victims? Well, most of them were Genbukai contenders. Oh. Who had lost in a match with Oshikiri Kun. Oh. They were people he'd already fought. That definitely links them, but I don't see the logic behind it. If Oshikiri really is the payback boxer, and he's already beaten them all, I don't get why he put in the effort into fighting them again. Not to mention, again, he has a pretty rock solid alibi after I saw him at the, the Smile Burger truck. <sighs> Right, but Shakira Kun is eager to get stronger, so it doesn't make sense for him to repeatedly challenge people weaker than himself. However, there are exceptions. Out of the ten victims so far, two had nothing to do with under with underground fighting. Almost a few days ago, when the payback boxer began using kicks in his assault, the other is the victim who was assaulted while you were with Shakira Kun in a small burger. I see. So we have a nonsensical motive and two exceptions to boot. Hmm. I'm not liking how this is panning out. Oh. So it might be that someone like a copycat or someone is just not even related to the payback boxer that's just getting mixed up with it? Mm hmm. The truth is growing closer, but not close enough. By the way, Amasawa, who's that guy next to Honda there? Nice pork chops there, man. Sorry, I haven't looked into him just yet. I see. He looks like a budget Kiryu. He sure doesn't look like your average guy. Who is he, though? Honestly, I would, I would think it was Honda pretending to be the payback boxer or something, you know? Totally see him being that crazy whack job is going around punching people in the face. Oh, shit. Senpai, what are you doing? This sure says greed. ヨタイヘイオランキング入りしたんですよね。ああ。俺だ、俺。おい。何やってんだ。スパーリングだ。幹元。あの野郎、この前よりさらに上手くなってやる。どういうことだ。Did <laughs> ガチョ。前にあんた、俺がおしきりとスパーした後に言いましたよね。お前なんか根性なしの変なチョコだって。ほら、少しよ。クマさんはあんたが手塩にかけて育てた一番弟子っすよね。それが見てください。情けねえ
Ow. Come on, bitch. Is that all you got? Yes. All right, come on. He's, he's getting up. Not gonna go down that fast. <laughs> These guys sure can take punches in the face, though. I'll tell you what. Ow, ow, ow. Woo! That's right. No blocking, right? No need to block. Just block it with your face. Boom. Oh, you got up after that, too. Oh, you're not getting up after this one. Oh, you got power? I've got power. Ugh. I'll show you what true team power is. Ugh. Sit your stupid ass down, Mikimoto. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead and clip your leg into that rope. Damn, that's a big ass boost. Pagaro, you know to the Makati. Sabot the Pagari Yukada. Samana do Yabesme, Conjurus here. Sia Sabot the Tanjane, or a chisende kitatanda. So do the Jimpirite and Kinkasha the Dagaru. Sia. He's been boxing in the boxer style, like me. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mickey Mouse has been entering the Genbukai too. Maybe he's the payback boxer, though? He's saying he's been doing it in the streets. Then, could he be the payback boxer? なんであんなクソ<笑> まさかキスモ。ケンヤが優勝した玄武会で貴様も優勝するつもりだったのか。そうすれば、ケンヤの実力に迫れると思って。どうなんだ、バケロ。だって仕方がないでしょ。チーム<笑> あんな<笑> <笑>負けたくらいで目覚めそして練習もできねえ根性なしなんかやめちまえって意味だよそうかよだったらやめてやんよ今度こそなおい待ってくれあの日ケンヤ君にやられた時君が欲しかったのは罵倒の言葉な
負け知らずの男だったんだからね事実スパーの後の三木本君はひどく落ち込んでた声をかけるのもためらわれるほどにね<笑>佐久間貴様さっきから何をねえ会長あなたはそんな三木本君に何て声をかけたか覚えてますこの根性なしがやめしまえ<笑>そう罵倒したんですよしかも便箋まで用意して引退届をかけて<笑>三木本君に突きつけたでしょうそそれは貴様さあコーチはいわかりますよ会長のことだから勝つを入れたつもりだったんですよねそういえば負けず嫌いの三木本君が悔しさにはがみして頑張ってくれると思ったんでしょだけどねそれであの子の心は折れちまったんですケンヤ君に負けたことも原因かもしれませんでもとどめを刺したのは会長あなたなんですそそんなはずはねえボクサーがなことで折れるはずが<笑>俺もそうだったからわかるんですよだから俺はここをやめたんだ<笑>もう二度と立ち上がれないかもしれない自分はダメかもしれないそう打ちひしがれていた時にあ,あ,あなたは傷口に塩を塗り込むように口汚く罵のの知ってしまいにはしないで殴って<笑>な、なあ、so right? そうだったのかよ、ミキモト。キサマ。オラ、テキキサマが、ケンヤにボコボコにされたからだと。<笑>もう、とてもいいっすよ。そんなこと。結局俺は。中途半端だったんだちっとも強くなんてなかったんだもう遅えんだよ遅くねえよ<笑>だってよ三木本俺と戦ってる時のお前すげえ楽しそうだったぜな何あんな楽しそうにボクシングするやつがやめられるわけねえじゃねえかこれが楽しんでたボクシングをああ俺にはそう見えたぜそれにお前すげえ強かったしもっともっと練習したら押し切りにだって勝てるかもしれねえじゃねえか<笑><笑>それなのに今グローブを投げ出しちまっていいのかよ少なくとも俺はお前ともう一度スパーをしたい俺もお前とやり合ってて楽しかったからなミキモト会長そそのトレーニング何から再開したらいいっすかおみ、三木本貴様やっぱり俺にはボクシングしかねえみてえですだってさあいつの言う通り楽しかったんです負けたってのにはどうしようもなく楽しかったんです<笑>三木本だあ俺のトレーニングは厳しい甘やかすつもりは一切ねえぞいなはい覚悟はできてますあ、oh, あ、あれはすごい。This is a pretty fucking great。Yagami。Great like series of、uh, side quests and sub stories. The boxing section. Yagami, I've got a. Yeah, fuck you, Yagami. <laughs> no, I'm actually, thank you. For Rikimoto. Yeah. But I won't. Ah, no need. Things just worked out naturally. Is that so? Turns out Mikimoto isn't the payback boxer. Plenty of work left to do to figure out who it is. Nah. Hey, Todoroki. Now, I used to think Oshikari might be the payback boxer. Summer. What? You're saying you're suspecting him again now? Yeah. Not at all. 
I really don't want it to be true. There's only one way I can ensure I was curious and a suspect. And that's to learn the truth about him. Todoroki, if there's anything you know about Oshikiri, I want you to tell me, no matter how bad it gets. But fine. Actually, maybe you're the one who could get Kenny out from under his curse. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Music's really fucking good, too. I'll wait for you at Rodriguez over in the bar district. It's always Ro Rodriguez. Oh. Oh, oh, we were super close there. Went up in the guts. But no, I want to punch dudes. No, God damn it. Have a drink with me, young my son. You suck a shit. What took you? Urgh. Sorry, on my tenth drink. Okay, Yagami, fire away. My chance to get Todoroki to spill the beans. Tell me about his past. This one time I spotted Oshikiri, he seemed real spooked about something. Despite the fact that he can beat anybody alive. Nah. What is it he's so afraid of? Yagami, can you speak as fear as the man who made him? <laughs> and who would that be? His father? His father, Fudo Oshikiri. It was the second patriarch of the Ushikiri family, formerly part of the Omi Alliance. Ah. Nanda Wait, there. what? Yeah, a real hardcore faction too. Supposedly the Ushikiri family always did the Alliance's dirty work. Intimidation, beats downs, even murders. As the future successor, Kenny received lethal technique instruction from his own father from a very young age. You mentioned the scars he's got? A couple times now, actually. Well, those were the instruction part of his father's training. Wow. Kenny learned about as many ways to kill as anyone could. Guns and knives, all the pressure points on the body. He doesn't just know how to destroy opponents. He knows how to kill them. And it's not even to speak of all the, all the combat tests he went through. Having to fight guys like his life was on the line. What? That's awful. So that's where all the scars came from. I don't even call it training. It's just abuse. Kenya's ma. She's gonna stand seeing her little boy getting ground into a killing machine. Then a few years back, when Kenya was in middle school, the Omi Alliance disbanded. His mom took advantage of all the mess during the fallout, ran off with Kenya. But apparently the dad was beside himself when he found out. After all, that's a lost investment he can't recoup. Rumor is, the guy's still combing the country for Kenya, even well after the Omi bit the dust. Ah. Uh. I bet he's hoping to get the kid back so he can start up a new family with his prize killer. Somebody. I see now. I was curious, constantly watching his back. Ugh. Because of daddy. Kenny lives in constant fear of that asshole popping up and dragging him off. If he ever does, that's the end of it. Kenny will be back to his life of hell, and his mom will probably end up getting disappeared. All this time, he's been training so when that day comes, he can success successfully fight off his father. So it's for freedom. He's being driven by fear. But even if he's gotten away from his dad, Kenny is still stuck with the guy's programming. Or dealing with the guy's programming. Whenever he senses his life's in danger, the killer instinct just automatically kicks in. He immediately dominates his opponents so they had no chance of success. Just like daddy taught him. Had no idea. Yagami. Yagami. My goal is to free Kenya from his dad's spell. With whatever it takes. And I believe the joy of the sport, the joy of boxing, could do it. Nah. So, Todoroki. How long do you plan on keeping Oshikiri from doing any actual boxing? I don't know. But all my students are important to me, not just Kenya. That's why I'm scared, Yagami. Ever since the Mikimoto thing, the scary's gonna kill one of my guys despite not wanting to. Nah. Todoroki, if that's true, why don't you have me go up against Oshikiri? Sonny. You? Uh. You see me spar enough to know I'm not no pushover, right? Mm. Yagami. There's no denying you're tough. You got some real guts. But still, strength and guts ain't enough. Until you're a real contender to Kenya as a boxer, there's no point to it. He needs to square up with someone who can really show him the joy in boxing. Are you telling me I'm not strong enough? If that's the case, why not just train me until I'm ready? You go through all that for Kenya? Uh, yeah. I mean, I've come this far, so might as well go all the way. Fine. Fine, you can do it. 
I'll put together a special counter Kenya training program for you. Cool. Looking forward to it. It's gonna beat your ass to the crowd. I'll be ready to die, Yagami. Mm -hmm. Fudo Shikiri, former patriarch of a violent Yakuza family. Okay, I'll start my own research on him soon. Nah. Don't go do anything dangerous, got it? Hi. Of course. I plan to keep this investigation purely online. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Okay, sounds good. Looks like Amasawa is taking the lead on researching Ashikiri's dad. So let's keep training while I wait to hear back. Cool. Yeah, I think... Was the Omi Alliance... Um, Was that who uh, Ryuji was a part of? I think it was, right? Yeah, there were some bad motherfuckers in that, in that group. Or was the Omi Alliance technically what the entire Tojo clan family was, was a part of? Uh, no, I think that was its own thing. I think. <laughs> Try to remember, remember my uh, Yakuza hierarchy here. I'm a Sawa? That was fast. Yagamida. What's up? Yagami -san. I have some intel for you on Oshikiri Kun's father, Fudo. Apparently, one of the Yakuza tabloids published some pertinent info in the past. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Nice work. Surprisingly enough, all credit actually goes to uh, Ido Kurasan. She just so happened to drop by when I told her what we were doing. She dug that article up rather quickly, too. Oh, Inokura helped out, huh? Great. Yeah. Yes, it was quite nice to see. Anyway, I'll send you a picture of that article now. Oh, hey, it's Pork Chops guy. So this is Fudo Shikiri. Hmm? Hmm? Wait a minute. I've seen him before. <sighs> That's right, Yagami-san. This man is the one we saw with Renji Honda of the Neo Kaiang gang in front of the Genbukai venue. Nandatte. What? That means Fudo Oshikiri's here in a Jin show? That's correct. Most likely in search of Kenya kun. Really? Not only that, he's involved the Neo Kaiang gang. Nah. Just what is going on? Mm, I don't know yet, but I do know I've got a bad feeling. Uh, yeah, same here. Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, fuck. <laughs> that guy fights Kenya. He's going to go off the goddamn deep end. Murder the shit out of it. Before I let that happen. Uh, wait. What? Oh, did I hit a cutoff point? Oh, I think I did. Wait, 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 wait. I think I can check here, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm at 75% of the way through it. Main slash school story progress. <laughs> Which one is it? I guess both? To be fair, I was actually probably going to end it here pretty soon anyway, but... I was, I was honestly gonna poke, just going to poke my head in there and see if I got any new skills I could uh, I could use, but... Mm, damn. This is all I'm going to be able to do for now. Any skills, though? Nope. 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 2. And those guys are not unlocked. <laughs> I don't know what the point exactly of fighting Sugiera and Kaido is in the DLC. I don't know if that's actually going to accomplish anything. I'm a bit buffer now. Let's try fighting uh, Sugiera again. <laughs> Okay, we're doing a bit more work now. Yeah. This looks a little more doable. Ow. Holy shit. So you're doing some damage. Oh my god. Where'd my health go? What the hell? Oh my god. What the fuck happened? Ow. Urgh. Wow. I was seemingly doing great until suddenly I wasn't. Sugar is the true final boss. Okay, screw this. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, it's just not gonna block at all. At all. I'm fine with that. Punch, punch, punch. Who the fuck is this guy again? He's a uh, main story dude. Oh, okay. Probably no better than I do, right? It's all I'm saying. I go everything out. <laughs> That's funny. He actually commented on it. <laughs> I don't know who the hell this guy is or what he's doing in my fucking gym. Uh, 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 uh. Just keep punching him in the face. Boom. Yeah, yep. He still gets up. One more round. Uh, 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 uh. Boom. Oh my god, you still get up? Jeez, Sugiera, come on. Will you fucking just die already, dude? Ugh. Boom. Okay. Now he's dead. That's just how the DLC guys are gonna be, right? They can't they can't go down to media, honey. 
Look how little he gave me, even though it was the toughest fight so far. Behold, Gus has been maxed. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and fight uh, Kaido then. Yeah, I'm not really getting anything for it. It's just for fun. All right, Kaido. Oh my God, Kaido, calm down. Jesus. Let's do this, Yagami. All right. Trying to kill me, okay? Oh, fuck. He's gonna be blocking a fucking lot. Oh god, oh god. I wonder if based on the row it's supposed to indicate maybe what power level they are, right? Like Sugar's on like row two or three or something, and he's like on the last row. So he actually might be really fucking tough. Come on, Kaido, come on! Oh you got Yosh. Okay. Sure it's not a Fricado son, but how about this? Uh, I'm a maniac, maniac. Da -da 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 -da. Can't stop the punching. Uh, perfect. You done? Nope. Damn it, I only got 16 seconds left, man. Ah, damn it, he's so close to death. I'm guessing he's just gonna say the same thing, right? Oh, if only he was younger, he'd be on top of the world. Shame. But hey. You're not too bad. Doing too bad yourself. Go take him out. <laughs> That's cool. I like I like that little bit of fluff dialogue. Is he that much older than Yagami? I wonder. I thought we were sort of about the same age, honestly. I mean, to be fair, I guess that's kind of what he meant, right? He's like, but well, then again, you're not doing too bad, and you guys are at the same age. Come on, bitch. Ow. No, no, no. Ugh. Yosh. <laughs> His leg. You done? Oh, yeah. K.O. Sorry, Kaido. I still love you, man. Fuck you, Yagami. And I didn't get anything. Huh. Still no word from Amasawa? About a new, uh, new club? I guess not. I gotta go progress with one of the other clubs first before, uh, I unlock the next one. I do have enough for, uh, another skill, though. Okay, let's get the X Waterfall Crush. A skill before and following a parry. Triangle right after, uh, pairing with L1. Sounds pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get a look at it, too. Yo, what up, dumbasses? Check out my new move. Oh, actually, first I gotta build up my heat. Huh? Uh, holy shit! Right into the bushes! That's what I'm talking about! Uh, uh. God, the fighting this game is so fucking sick. Feels good, man. All right, guys. I think this is probably a uh, good place to end things here for now. Damn, that was fun, dude. Holy crap. That, that boxing uh, school story is fantastic. Holy shit. But uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become Picky Penguin. Aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.